Welcome back to Commonwealth Avenue. I'm Didi Sun. And I'm Mike Neff. If you haven't heard yet, Yahoo's new CEO, Marissa Meyer, decided to ban telecommuting, leaving many wondering how working from home impacts our work-life balance. Our reporter, Anna Marie Skidmore, takes a closer look. Work-life balance. Anna Maria Skidmore for BUTV. And it looks like telecommuting isn't going anywhere. The IRC poll and a reference found that by 2016, 4.9 million Americans are expected to work from home. With all the and the application to join the group can be found on their website. Boston University junior Alex Shadro is taking the business world by storm. Her expanding website, Uniteaks.com, is an affordable way for students to buy and sell their clothing. Mary Gagliardi shows us how it works. It's hard to start your own business, let alone starting your own business while in college and your own business. Soon it'll be easy for college students to say, Mo money, no problem. For BUTV 10, I'm Mary Gagliardi. Mo money, no problem. Sounds pretty good to me. You can check out Uniteaks.com to shop for a new wardrobe and support Shadro's goal to reach 21 million college students. Finally today, with a cappella blowing up in recent years, Many new groups have burst onto the scene. One of these rising stars can be found right here in Boston. Reporter Patrick Farrell tells us how they struck a chord within the a cappella world. Well, don't hold your breath for a new From Out of Town album anytime soon. Dan says the earliest one could be done is the middle of 2014. However, the townies will be touring in New York and D.C. this summer. Man, acapella groups, they always amaze me. That guy, he looked like he was really playing the trumpet there, you yeah, know? Yeah, uh, better than I could do. Definitely better than better I could than do. Better than I could do, for sure. <laughs> That's the end of this song here today. Thanks for joining us in Commonwealth Avenue. I'm Mike Neff. And I'm Didi Sun. Have a great afternoon. From BUTV, it's Commonwealth Avenue.